Live on FB or? Uh, we are. Here we go. Now live on Facebook. Got it. <laughs> it's true. That's why I had to turn Whitney down because I can't stream Whitney on Facebook, but I can stream oh, this. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Afternoon, Gold Arrow Camp. What is up? Welcome to the afternoon assembly. I'm Soy. That's Delta. That's Bravo. Two of us joining you from virtual Big Campfire. Delta joining us from her living room, I assume. Um, and we just want to say, hey, happy Monday to everybody. Yes, it is indeed. I checked the calendar. Today is Monday. Some of us might be losing a little bit of track, but that's okay. Uh, we're having a good time while we do it. Welcome to the afternoon assembly. We're glad you're here. A little bit of camp in injected into your week to start it off right. Hey, here's a couple of quick disclaimers. Uh, this is a Gold Arrow Camp event. And so we're going to ask you to please keep all the conversations in the chat. GACA, that's Gold Arrow Camp appropriate. That means we keep it positive. We build people up. We don't talk about anything that might offend, scare, or anger anyone in the chat. Also in the chat, if you see somebody you know, uh, maybe a virtual friend, a friend from camp, and you want to exchange contact information, like maybe a phone number or a social media handle, please send us a note, mail, M-A-I-L, at goldarrowcamp.com so we can make sure everybody is who they say they are and that they want to exchange information with you. We want to keep you safe. Whew. All right. Disclaimers out of the way, Delta. Bravo. Let's dive into this thing. Here are some announcements. Yes, we are diving in. It is You have gorgeous form. I just want to point that out. Thank you, sir. Um, Thank you. You know, you are. Tomorrow is virtual campfires with Delta right here on Zoom. If you need details, check out your email or have your parents check those out. An opportunity for you to show your faces, your houses, your pets, to talk with people from your same age group. Bears hanging out with bears, tigers with tigers, lions, eagles, hanging out, having a conversation. It's good. Is it good, Delta? It is so good. Sorry, I was muted. It is so good. <laughs> so good. <laughs> So good. So good. So is much fun. Better than, worse than, or the same as the glory of my quarantine mustache? 100% better than. Shots fired. Okay. <laughs> I mean. No, no. It's my mustache. Is great, <laughs> so that tells you how good. It's so uh, good. Get fires are outstanding. Yes. <laughs> uh, Thursday on Zoom. Trivia night with me and Delta and some other fun guests. Delta, would you say trivia night? Better than, worse than, the same, my quarantine mustache? I feel like this is a trick question, so <laughs> I'm going to go with same as. That's, oh, yeah. <laughs> look at, yes. It's safe, safe answer. So <laughs> glorious is kind of another adjective. You glorious. Might find. Amazing. The or questions are great. Unexpected. You mustache. could go with that as well. Um, and it's Friday, fun. we're right back here on Facebook and Zoom with afternoon assembly. Same bat time, same digital back channel uh and same virtual big campfire background for me hey delta yes what what have we been practicing for the last 27 days what what have we been really working on as a camp community c -c 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 kindness <laughs> that's right it's been gat kindness uh, everyone loves gat kindness uh, we hope that you've been uh engaging in some gat kindness we hope that uh you have been taking part in that. Uh, if you have, it would be awesome if you maybe had a picture of some of that kindness and you threw it on like maybe a social media, like an Instagram or a Facebook, probably Instagram, because I know that Facebook is for people in my age bracket and Instagram is for you young, cool people. But hit it with that hashtag, hashtag GAC kindness. Um, and Delta, I'm not saying Delta runs the GAC Instagram, but Delta runs the GAC Instagram. And she would share that because she's Delta, 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 Delta. It's pretty good. There's a little dance. Look at her. Delta embraces it. She knows. So share that. That's going to be awesome. Okay. Uh, we've already had some great sharing. Um, and there is still at goldarrowcamp.com slash kindness, uh, a kindness calendar, all kinds of awesome ideas. Uh, maybe, and some of them are super easy guys. You could like write a letter and we have an address on there where you can send it and, uh, senior citizens who are, a lot of them are really isolated right now because of the pandemic and it, they're at risk. And so they're staying home or they're, uh, in sheltered in place. They could really use a note. You don't even need to know a senior citizen, just send the letter to this address and they will get it to one for you. You could brighten somebody's whole day and you could maybe make a pen pal 
It could happen, and that'd be pretty awesome. I love pen pals. <sighs> the other thing we're doing, uh, we're celebrating birthdays here on the afternoon assembly because a lot of people like Delta and myself had birthdays that occurred during shelter in place. And I had a nice birthday. Like it was fun, but it wasn't like I had a party. It wasn't like a bunch of people came to my house. Delta had a great birthday party. People came and drove by her house and honked their horns and she kind of freaked out. We made her a special chair and everything. Um, <laughs> but what we're doing here, cause we can't do that for all of you, unfortunately, but what we can do is we can recognize you publicly. So here they come with the one clap. Here are birthdays for the next week. It's Gwyn and Katie and Lena and Annie and Avery and Chloe with Eleanor and Flynn and Ollie and Alex and Hunter and Maddie and Claire and Ima and Henry and Lucy and Mary Elizabeth and Reese and Sarah and Anastasia with Drew and Jack and Reese and Teddy and Alice and Chloe and Jilly and Lee and Benji and Natalie and Natalie and Olivia and Phoebe and Talon. Whew, that is a lot a of birthdays. Um, also, I'm going to be honest with you, a couple staff members getting a year older. Tiana and Wookie have birthdays this week. Whoa, 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 what? That's right. They got a year older. Oh. I miss Wookie. I miss Wookie. I miss everybody. Like, this makes me so happy just being in a virtual mm -hmm. room with you guys. And with everybody who's in the virtual audience, they're sitting on virtual benches at virtual big campfires. It's very good. I'm very excited. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Delta, does it feel like I've done a lot of talking so far? Not enough, Sully. Not enough. That's very kind of you to say. <laughs> that's not true. I would argue it's been too much. You know what? I don't know how to read. Delta are often <laughs> on the afternoon assembly. But Bravo is like a new face <laughs> on the afternoon assembly. You might be saying, self, why is Bravo on the afternoon assembly? That's a great question. I'm glad you asked it. He's on the afternoon assembly because he volunteered to come lead a song. Because we love songs oh, yeah. the assembly. Bravo, what's up? Take it away. Tell us the song. Lead a song. Let's do a song. Song, 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 song. Awesome. So I learned this song about two summers ago from an old counselor named Loop who brought it to camp. Um, it's not a sing-along song and something that we can all kind of pick up and learn together and sing it together. So this is called, I think it's called like the Austrian yodeling song, but it's my favorite. Okay, so I'll just start, okay? One son Austrian went yodeling on a mountain so high, then along came a cuckoo bird interrupting its cry. Ole, ola kiki, ola cuckoo cuckoo. Ola kiki, ola cuckoo cuckoo. Oh, la kiki, oh, la cuckoo, 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 oh, la kiki, oh. Once an Austrian went yodeling on a mountain so high, then along came an avalanche interrupting its cry. Oh, hey. oh, la kiki, oh, la cuckoo, cuckoo, swish, we added on. Oh, la kiki, oh, la cuckoo, cuckoo, swish. Oh, la kiki, oh, la cuckoo, cuckoo, swish. Oh, la kiki, oh. Once an Austrian went yodeling on a mountain so high, then along came a grizzly bear interrupting its cry. Ole, ola kiki, ola cuckoo cuckoo, swish grr. Ola kiki, ola cuckoo cuckoo, swish grr. Ola kiki, ola cuckoo cuckoo, swish grr. Ola kiki, yo. Once an Austrian went yodeling on a mountain so high. Then along came a St. Bernard interrupting its cry. Ola, ola kiki, ola cuckoo cuckoo, swish grr, ha ha. Ola kiki, ola cuckoo cuckoo, swish grr, ha ha. Ola kiki, ola cuckoo cuckoo, swish grr, ha ha. Ola kiki, yo. Once an Austrian went yodeling on a mountain so high. Then along came a Tarzan interrupting its cry. Ole, ola kiki, ola cuckoo cuckoo, swish grr, ha ha. Ola kiki, ola cuckoo cuckoo, swish grr, ha ha. Ola kiki, ola cuckoo cuckoo, swish grr, ha ha. Ola kiki, yo. And that's it. Guys, I didn't even sing and I'm sweaty. That was such Me a too. good one.
Uh, the, my only problem is when you do the grizzly bear and you go, Har! I think about Grizzly the counselor doing that and it makes me giggle a little. Like only he <laughs> goes with like kind of a Scottish accent, like, Gar! Instead of, Gar! Gar! You can't not think of him. You don't, I, well, I think of him pretty constantly if I'm honest. He's like, he's my, he's my MCM today, if we're honest. Okay. Um, oh, Tank, my guy, hit me with that stat of the day music. Stat of the day, stat of the day, dabba dooba doo, stat of the day, stat of the day. Here comes that what? Stat of the day. Bop. Oh, last uh, Friday, stat of the day question. How many bunk beds does Gold Arrow Camp own? And we talked about like two beds together is one bunk bed was how we defined bunk bed. The answer, if you count all of the bunk beds in camp, as well as the bunk bed in Sunspot, which I did, I believe the answer is 167 bunk beds. The closest guess was from Melissa Mindy Cohn Gross on Facebook in the chat who guessed 152. Great guess you. Uh, today's stat of the day question. How many lip balms did Gold Arrow Camp sell in the store last year? You can guess in the chat, you can guess in the comments on Facebook. How many lip balms did Gold Arrow Camp sell last year? I will tell you this. We had five varieties that we sold. So there were the four flavored ones, and there was an unflavored lip balm. I know, mine equals blown. So check that out. Um, and put that guess in the chat. Hey, it's time for your favorite glowed up. Spirit thermometer with Cheerio, cha 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 Cheerio. She's Cheerio, cha Cheerio, Cheerio, cha 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 Cheerio. Hit it, Cheerio. Hey everybody. <laughs> okay, we had eleven Hi, rounds, but I'm adding a verbal one for Bravo, so I'm just gonna start with that one. That I love that song so much, and it. <laughs> I can't even keep up, but it just brought me so much joy. So there's one for Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I'm sure everybody who's here, you know, we should just triple it or whatever. Um, and then we have another one for Maggie. Hey, I loved your wow. Thanks for being the great friend you are and having a good attitude, especially because your birthday was last week from Tess. And this one's for Squatch. I just received your letter, letter via mail. Thank you so much. It really brightened my day getting a personal handwritten letter from X-Ray. So I love to see that. Um, so but, that back act of kindness, right? Isn't that great? Yeah. And then the glow up is here. It comes. here. Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm rolling on my desk. You can't see it yet. Nope. Ah! How about now? Yes. Oh, okay. it's overflowing. <laughs> so great. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to have 12 new spags falling. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I'm so proud of go you guys. Spags. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so thanks for spreading that kindness, everybody, and just keep it up. It's just great to have, you know positive things to circulate around the world. So see ya. <laughs> um, before we go to Chelster and Chelster, we're coming to you next. I do want to say, if you're looking in the chat, Mech has made a guess on lip balms. I'm going to be, I'm going to be totally honest with you, Mech, a little high. I'll let you guess again. You're a little high with 5 billion. I think it's a good guess. It's not out of the realm of possibility. A little bit outside. Cheerio, thank you so much for doing the wows. Thanks everybody for writing wows. Uh, Cheerio or Glitter can put the link to those in the chat and maybe on Facebook as well. Uh, and a reminder that when you write a wow, we do email that wow to the person you write it to. It's not just for the afternoon assembly. Chelster? Yes. Yes, Soy. What can I help you with? <laughs> we have been sheltered in place for, I think, seven weeks. Uh, it, it has been a long time. Yes. Um, I grew a mustache. Yes, and I have. So people are that. making questions. <laughs> so maybe what you could do is you could hit us with a stay-at-home tip to make sheltering in place a little less uh, this kind of decision, <laughs> a little bit more 
squad <laughs> writing letters to x-ray kind of decision. Yes, yes, yes. I would love to. Okay, so my tip of the day would be to, um, so as you know, the weather's warming up and we want to be outside. And a lot of our time is spent maybe in our front yard or our backyard um, because we're supposed to shelter at home and not stray too far. So my suggestion would be to spruce it up, spruce up that backyard, spruce up the front yard. I spent my weekend doing that. So pull all your weeds, pull them now because they're just going to keep growing and growing. So help your parents pull weeds. They, you will get brownie points for that. I guarantee it. Okay. And then also if you happen to go to a nursery or Lowe's or Home Depot where they sell some flowers, pick up a couple things to freshen up the yard, freshen up the garden. Um, and I, I think it will go a long way because you're going to be spending a lot of time out there. So you might as well enjoy it, right? It's true. I think um, also just a reminder, <laughs> Mother's Day is coming. Yes, yes it is. Some mothers on the call here. Mother's uh -huh. Day is coming. Yes, it uh -huh. is. One Mother's Day, kid you not, one Mother's Day that the kids and my husband asked me what I wanted to do. And I told them yard work. And they couldn't say no. So all three of them had to help me with yard work. It was the best ever. So moms, if you're listening, that's the way to get them to do some, some that's, amazing work in the yard. That's true. <laughs> that's cool. Like I, I appreciate it, but that's cold. Uh, we're oh, good. Yeah, One day of the year. Yeah, making, make it. <laughs> the spirit thermometer gets a glow up and she wants your backyard and your front yard to get a glow up. And yeah. uh, I think that's there something we can all appreciate. Yeah. Absolutely. Don't know who that is. Not sure what's going on there. All right, it's time for a game. Bravo and Delta are going to play a game for us. I didn't tell. She whiz. Game. I just asked <laughs> her if they could stick around, and so they're going to play a game. Got it. We haven't done this on the afternoon assembly. I'm so nervous. You should be. <laughs> it's a game Delta suggested to me this morning. Oh no, okay. Why well, didn't all of a sudden have to be part of it? <laughs> this is not fair. Can someone else do it since I suggested <laughs> I can't what do this it? one. <laughs> it's the bark snore bark. Alternatively, <laughs> bark. Delta, if you can't bark snore bark, that's fine. Not everybody can. <laughs> I will allow you to elect to catwalk instead of bark start bark, bark start barking. So you gotta hit <laughs> your best model on the catwalk, right? Said Fred style. Oh, I'm in my pajama work? pants, so maybe I should bark. <laughs> bark start bark. <laughs> Outstanding. Okay, uh, ladies first. Uh, <laughs> if you've never seen this done before, it's a bark, <laughs> snort, <laughs> bark. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> like that. I'm not particularly good at, but I know Delta's going to give it the old college try. Delta goes first, and then Bravo, and then we see. And, we and this is live on Facebook. <laughs> this is indeed. Now let me double check that. I'm on the it is indeed live on Facebook. <laughs> Literally, tens of people can see this at any time. I just started like sweating. I'm so nervous. All right, Delta in three, two, one. Bark, snort, bark. Bark, snort, bark. And nothing will come out. <laughs> oh God. I'm never suggesting a game like that. <laughs> Bravo. It like won't come out when you try. Okay. You have a lot to live up to. Delta bark snort bark mm. bark snorted bark. Oh, well. For the first time in her life, first time ever, right there. We saw it here at our afternoon assembly. Now it's your turn. Hit it with the bark snort bark. I'm not sure if I've ever done it. Okay. Now you won't be able to say that anymore. Ruff, 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 ruff. That's so impressive. <laughs> I think we have a clear it's winner sitting, here, friends. I don't it's want to sitting say. at a desk and doing it. <laughs> I don't want to say that um, it's clear that's why you won Coach's Award, but it's pretty clear that's why you won Coach's Award. That was incredible. That was some of the <laughs> best park store parking I have ever seen. Thank you. Um, you know what? I want to give Delta a second chance. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 not, not I do too. Bark. Not with Barks. Where do you oh. It's time for a good old fashioned Tennessee compliment off. That's right. Oh. Compliment off. Delta and Bravo complimenting each other. 
genuine compliments, no repeats. The first person to either make a non-genuine compliment or to repeat a compliment they've already made is out. Are you ready? Yes. Are you set? Yes. I'm set. Delta, begin the compliment off. Bravo, you bring a smile to everyone's faces. Delta, you are a part of what makes camp special. And after being at camp for so long, I would aspire to be someone like you. Okay. <laughs> Bravo. Any camper that you interact with is so lucky and grows so much from your guidance and your leadership and your mentorship. Delta, I am eternally grateful to you because of your generosity in giving me a ticket to go see a Hugh Jackman concert at the Hollywood Bowl with you. That was so good. That was a really good concert. <laughs> it was so good. Um, I mentioned campers, but I didn't mention staff and the amount of staff that are inspired by you. And when you are at camp and they just, so many staff members grow and learn from you and you're an inspiration to all of them. Delta, you are an incredible mentor, not to staff, but specifically to JCs. They are lucky to have someone to teach them and to look up like you. You are, I don't know your whole life of being a son, but I saw you interact with your dad at camp and you are a great son and you have a great family. And it's so just like inspiring to see you in like a familial role outside of camp. And it's just so loving. My family, your family, your brother is such a great face at camp and he was the leader of my training week cabin and he taught me so much and he is so nice. <laughs> and your sister. <laughs> Wait, she was there. <laughs> and your sister. Yeah. Um, oh goodness. Bravo. Anytime I like need something at camp, you're the first one. If I'm like, hey, Bravo, could you, before I can even finish the sentence, you're like, yeah, what do you need? What? You are so helpful. You're so genuine with your help and you're so intentional with it and you do it all. Maybe you don't necessarily want to do it, but you don't show it. And you are just, you do it wholeheartedly. And I'm so grateful for that. This may not technically be a compliment, but I miss Delta so much. And I really wish I am get to even be in the presence of her this summer. And it's been so long since I've seen her. <laughs> I feel like at that point we do have to step in and declare that Delta is the winner because that was not technically a compliment. <laughs> so Bravo dominated the Bark Store Bark. He dominated that. Really, it was an incredible. It was a clinic that he put on. But honestly, I'm not upset. No, that was, that was so great. sweet. That Del was Delta came through with compliments. Bravo came through with compliments. And we're on a gold, silver medal at the Olympics kind of situation. <laughs> Both really at an international level of complimenting. Great. Love you, Bravo. Solid work. Sunshine, welcome to the program. How's it going? Um, it's good. <laughs> uh, do, do you have a stay-at-home tip prepared? Ch Chelster had us sprucing up our parents' backyards. Oh my gosh, that's such <laughs> a good one. Um, well, I think mine would be probably pretty predictable for those people who know me. It's something that I have been practicing for the last uh, three weeks, which is having an unplugged day once a week. Yeah. Um, so I've been doing Sundays where I do not do any um, social media or email or anything like that. And I've, um, but like FaceTimes and texting with friends and family, that's fine. But um, I just think it's really good to just kind of do something else. And I've been finding all these other things to do with all my extra time and stuff. So I know it's hard because it's like our main way to connect with others. But I think if we can just try to do some uh, unplugging on days when we can, when we don't have school or work, I think it's really, really good. I think that's a great tip and it can be hard, right? Because there's so much of what we're doing is online, but I think it's a very important thing. I think you're right to kind of detox, especially from the social media and the, the kind of cheap dopamine thrills that social media gives us so often. Can I just share my high of the day is seeing Bravo? Like, right. oh my gosh, just like your presence is just like, I just, that just made my day like 200,000 times percent better seeing you. I would note that. Thank you, uh, sunshine. It is a six, it is a six way kind of stage right now and uh, five really great hairs going on and me. 
So everybody has just tremendous hair today. I have a quarantine haircut that might get some clippers at some point soon. Um, uh, other news, uh, the mustache poll is dead even between keep it. <laughs> Come Wait, to I didn't get to participate. If I get to participate, I can throw it over. <laughs> Come to, tri- I'm going to end it before you can vote. Um, I knew you would do that. Uh, <laughs> Come to trivia oh! <laughs> and see if the mustache gets to stick around. Who knows? I actually know the answer, but I'm not sharing until Thursday. Speaking of Thursday, Thursday, we have trivia right back here on Zoom. Tuesday, we have virtual campfires with Delta. They're going to be awesome. Friday, we're right back here for another afternoon assembly. Thanks so much for coming. I hope you had a great time. I had a great time. Have a great week, guys. Wait, soy. Oh, we yes. Did you see Sierra's comment? I did see that Sierra says the mustache looks good. Embrace the quarantine. (laughs) (laughs) A real quick side note. I did have to go out today. We had a doctor's appointment that I had to go to. And uh, my wife, being who lives in the house with me, doesn't (laughs) love the mustache um, in a shocking development because she has good taste. And so she was very concerned. But I said, listen, nobody will have to wear a mask because I wore a mask when I went out. Nobody knew I had it. It was my secret that I had a sweet mustache. So there's that. Friends, we're so glad you joined us. We had such a good time this afternoon. Again, we're right back here tomorrow for Virtual Campfires Trivia on Thursday and Assembly on Friday. Be well and thanks for being here, guys. Goodbye, everybody. Where's everybody going today? Where are we going? Turn my power back on. To the kitchen. Yes, to the kitchen. Yeah. A snack. Solid choice. To pluck some weeds. Yeah, we're going to go pull weeds in the backyard. Yeah. Take a picture of it. Hashtag Gat Kindness. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, everybody.